What's up guys, Luke here from Luke's Points and Miles. Today I'm doing another episode of Keep or Cancel. And this is the busy season for me, so we'll be discussing the fate of three different cards in this video. Now this won't be a full review of any of these cards, but I will mention which benefits are valuable to me and which aren't. And I will also determine whether each one is a keep, a cancel, or maybe there were some other options. And I'm gonna drop a couple tips about that at the end of the video as well. If this is your first time here, I talk about credit cards, points, miles, cash back and travel. I speak plainly without sugarcoating and I upload regularly. If that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. And if you get any value from this video, slap that like button for me and the YouTube algorithm. With all that out of the way, let's get started on the first card. Up first is the Chase Bank IHG Business Premier card. And this is a new one for me. I've had the card for one year now and it had a great bonus. And it also comes with a free night certificate worth 40,000 IHG points, which is actually a little more expensive than most of my IHG stays. The annual fee is $99, so let's talk about what we actually get for that 99 bucks. First off, the card seems to be a good earner, but after some analysis, I won't use the card for spend anywhere except IHG properties. The points are just too easy and too cheap to purchase. So if the spend is out, why would I keep the card? Well, first of all, I like staying at IHG properties. I like Kempton's on the high end, and I'm a big fan of the Holiday Inn Express for budget stays. And like I said, the card just earned a free night certificate. And let's be honest, I really like points instead of certificates because the certs expire, and I'm someone that will let it expire before I force myself to use it. I actually have a Hyatt and an Intercontinental free night that are probably going to expire because I really can't find any use for either of them. But a 40,000 point night, I hope will come in handy. And really one free night is worth more than $99, but that's not all. The card actually comes with a superpower. When the card holder books a four night reward stay, that fourth night is free. See, that's better than the fifth night free because your Uncle Luke is a short tripper. Check out my video about our stay at the Seafire Resort in Grand Cayman for just how valuable a fourth night free can be. I'll link that video below. So this is a no brainer for me. I'm keeping the card, I stay at IHGs, and even though I have no clue what platinum status might give me, I'm holding out hope that one day I'll benefit from it, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. This next card was a little tougher choice for me, pun intended, and it's another new card. Last year I was approved for Select MasterCard from Wells Fargo, and I was actually super excited about not only getting the card, but all the great choice hotel deals I've been seeing all over the internet. I signed up for the card when it first came out, and I got the 90,000 point offer, which immediately set me up with a good choice point stash. The card also had a TSA pre-check, global entry credit, and at the time, I was really excited about the earnings. See, the card earns five times choice privileges points, at gas stations, grocery stores, home improvement stores, and phones, both mobile and landlines. Question, do any of you guys have a landline phone? And it topped that off with cell phone protection, making it one of the rare cards that earned on cell phones while also protecting the phone. Pretty cool, right? The card also came with a 30,000 point anniversary bonus, which like I stated earlier, I like that a lot better than a free night that will expire. So what were some things I didn't like? Well, the card has a $95 fee, which was waived in the first year. But the big thing was, I didn't see how I would ever get any value from the platinum status. And I really didn't think I'd ever pay cash to stay at a choice hotel. So the only reason to keep it would be the earnings. And I actually realized that my city cards transfer one to two to choice, which makes them a much better earner for chase points. And then Wells Fargo included transfer partners that included Choice Hotels, and they also transfer one to two. So now my Wells Fargo autograph card also out earns this Choice card. But here's the biggest reason. While I oftentimes talk about the nice Choice properties I see and the deals I see, I've never actually stayed at a Choice Hotel. So why pay a $95 annual fee if I'm not gonna use the card or rarely ever stay at their properties? So this choice was pretty easy. I canceled this one. Now here's the strange part. 
I still received a 30,000 point anniversary bonus. I didn't try to mislead or game the system. I just waited until the annual fee hit to call Wells. So at the end of the year, I paid no annual fees because the first year was waived and I ended up with over 130,000 choice privileges points. I will use those points someday, I hope. Okay, last but not least, I have a card that I get asked about a lot. Now, I've had this City Business American Airlines MasterCard. I don't know what the whole long name is, but it's the American Airlines business card from City. This card has a $99 annual fee, and overall, it's a decent card. Besides the sign-up bonus, this card is good basically for the free check bags if you fly American Airlines. Personally, I don't think I use the card much in the last three or four years. And recently, I've actually had platinum status with American Airlines, so I get free check bags anyway. Funny thing is, I rarely check a bag for any domestic flights that isn't Hawaii, so this card doesn't hold a ton of value for me. My initial thought was just call and cancel. We'll save another $99. So I call City and I was reminded of something about City credit cards that really doesn't get talked about a whole lot. City offers retention offers. They normally aren't the same caliber as Amex, but I use this one as an example and ironically, this is the same offer they gave me last year when I called to cancel this card. Their offer was that if I kept the card open and paid the annual fee and spent $99, then they would credit me $99. So basically just use the card even a little and they'll refund the annual fee. So I paid a random bill and got the annual fee covered. So I'm good for another year, which might be a good idea because I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to maintain status with American Airlines and I'm sure the free check bag for each of us on the itinerary will come in handy at some point. So I'm keeping the American Airlines business card one more year and I'm also pretty sure I'm now eligible for another bonus for the business version and the consumer version of American Airlines City Cards. American Airlines miles are some of the hardest to earn, and for me, they are super valuable on partner flights on international business and first class. So I may be shooting another application their way very soon. Okay, there you have it guys, three cards, three different outcomes. Number one, paid the annual fee because of the positive value. Number two, canceled and still realized positive value. Number three, I got a mutually beneficial deal that I'm happy with. Oh, also with City, you can call them and ask for retention offers on all your City cards, even the ones with no annual fee. It's a little known gem, so give them a call and see what offers they have. One more gem, guys. You should be using a shopping portal for all your retail shopping. I use Rakuten. Rakuten is a cashback shopping portal that offers very good rates, but the unique part of Rakuten is you can opt to earn Amex MR points in lieu of cash back, making them much more valuable, at least for me. Use my link in the description below and you'll get $30 or 3,000 MR points on your very first purchase. Do it, it's free money. That's all for me, guys. The next Keep or Cancel will likely include three Hilton cards, so stay tuned for that one later this month. And if you have stayed all the way to the end, I thank you. And I appreciate every single one of you.